All right, guys, so in here we got some isopods. And in the last video, I asked y'all, like, yo, what should I do for my video? Like, let me know. I need some video ideas, my guys. And most of y'all said feeding vid. So we out here with the feeding vid video. I said video. But yeah, first, let me show you how the isopods have been doing. I put this piece of cork bark in today just to give them like an extra hide because as you can see, all those holes, they've dug themselves. Yeah, that's a roly-poly. Um, that's actually a good thing that that's in there because I want to explain the difference between a roly-poly and here, let me find one, an isopod. That thing right there. So, first things first, in the name, roly-polies, guess what they do? They roll up into a ball, all right? They roly and they poly. The isopod does not roll up. An isopod is just a generic name for um, this type of invertebrate. That's a crustacean that um, pretty much feeds on decaying leaf matter, decaying wood. And yeah, I don't know. They, I think these are um, giant canyon roaches. I mean, roaches. Giant canyon isopods. And those are roly polies, aka pill bug. Giant canyon isopod. Roly poly. Giant canyon isopod. Roly poly. Alright, so yeah. Hopefully that helped. Anyone that might have been a little bit confused. Um, so yeah. Everything's doing good here. You can see. All the little baby isopods. Straight up chilling. They're vibing on the beat. Um there's honestly a lot more. Like look, there's a little roly poly right there. That one has some cool colors. There's a little bit of dots. And all these isopods and stuff are from the wild. So that's pretty cool. So like this whole setup, everything in here, except for the coconut fiber, free 99, bruh. Well, I mean, this is like from the Dollar Tree. You know what I'm saying? Dollar container, cork bark. Um, you could find bark like this in the wild. This was actually, this broke off from a piece that I bought. But um, this small little piece, that's pretty much free. Like, come on now. Um, oak leaves, free. Just sanitize them by boiling them in hot water. Um, same with the decaying wood. And yeah, that easy was set up. Just burn some holes in this junk right there. Bada boom, bada bing. Collect some isopods and start your own culture. And they're really cool because you see them develop. You see the little, the little babies come out. And it's pretty interesting. So, in here, I have another type of prey mantis. I have two prey mantis species. This one I found on my own. Um, just outside my house and as you can see it has beautiful purple eyes which is dope and I fed it about two times I gave it two roaches since I've had it but I haven't been able to get it to eat on camera so hopefully I could get it to do that right now for y'all real quick so I wanted to touch on this real quick um, when it comes to feeding um, a roach or something to a mantis and you didn't know I cannot speak today but you're not sure what size to feed it um, here's a little good tip. So you can see how big the mantis is, right? And this is the roach compared to it. I That's a good size. So think about all this. If it was m like mushed up into a drink, how much would fit in its abdomen? It's kind of a weird scale to think about, but yeah, you want it pretty big. Like you don't want to be feeding it something really, really small or else you have to give it like four or five of those. I suggest one kind of big prey. Um, just so... It, the mantis is able to overpower it while also being able to get a lot of nutrition from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want the mantis to be able to overpower it way too easy because it's some small roach and then not be able to get that much food out of it. And you also don't want it to be some huge roach that could possibly hurt the mantis. Alright, so... Let's see if I could just drop this in. That'll be good. And I probably should have taken out this cork bark. Oh, hell no. Where the hell is this roach? Oh, it's right there. Alright, I'll cut to me freaking having this into the thing. So, if I could get that focus, I'm gonna have it do. I'm not gonna tong feed it, just so it could be more interesting. So, we got the roach, you know what I'm saying? He's crawling around and he's going all along the thing, checking to see if there's a way out. And there's no way out for him other than death. That's the only way out. So, we got the prey mantis out here confused as hell because I just moved his cork bark. Look at those purple eyes, though. 
Jesus Christ, that's amazing. But yeah, so the pre mantis is out here vibing. The roach is being annoying. Oh, it's over there now. All right, so the roach is getting closer to the mantis. And the mantis does not see the roach, okay? Oh, the, ro the mantis has just made eye contact with the roach. The roach is on the mantis's radar, but the mantis is not... It's too lazy to freaking go out and hunt it. So he's doing. He's gonna pretty much wait till the roach crawls right in front of him, like a little lazy boy. All right. So we got this close-up shot. Roach is right there. Seems like the roach is gonna be coming close. Come on, mantis! Look. Come. The mantis is scared of the roach right now. This is really sad and pathetic. Dude, can you please eat for the one time? Like, come on, dude. Eat for the one time. What you want, antenna swaying in the wind. Roach is close, and it's scaring the hell out of the prey mantis. Yeah, my prey mantis is a loser. Super dope. So I've come to the conclusion that it's probably going to be easier for me to just tong feed this fool. So hopefully this could be a good shot. This is not the easiest thing to do. Okay, he looks interested. Or this might be defensive. Grab it. Grab the roach, my dude. Look. Come on, these are roach these are roach like movements, my dude. You've got to eat it. Come on. For the one time. This is such an awkward position for me, dude. I feel so weird. And this is pissing me off. So this mantis is being freaking frightened as hell. So I don't think it's going to eat on camera. I'm going to leave the roach in with it because I'm not scared that it's going to molt anytime soon. And yeah, the mantis will probably eat when there's not a freaking huge light on him. And yeah, he'll probably eat off camera. So that sucks. But you know, that's what happens sometimes, guys, when keeping animals. You can't tell always what they're going to do. So put that junk back in and let's move on to something else. All right, guys, so now in here, we got my Thailand black and got to give it some more water. Want to overflow it a little bit just because there are more tropical species of tarantula. And you can see that beautiful tiger rump right there. You zoom in. Focus on the tiger rump. Yeah, so right there, this is a good position to hopefully have it eat. But it's gonna go, it's gonna be kind of hard to get it to eat on camera. Oh, let's just drop it in. God damn it, that was a fail. I, as you can see right there, at least my tortoise is eating, and it's eating on camera, which is even better. So technically, I'm feeding the tortoise, guys. Open this. Hopefully, not try not to scare it. And look at that dude. He is doing much much better now. Treated him for mites and all that. And yeah, he's doing good. So far, so good with the mites. No mites have came back, so everyone on TikTok, thank you for your prayers. You know what I'm saying? And are you serious? He just stopped eating. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone now. All right, so I literally just started the video with my nose because I had to, had no hands free. Go, go in there. <sighs> okay, it's right at the hole, guys. I repeat, the roach. This is some life and death, death situation for this roach. Dude, I literally just want, my dream is that this freaking tarantula just shoots up and oh my gosh, it's stayed, okay, nothing happened. It would have looked so freaking dope if the tarantula just shot up and took it out of the hole, but nope. Okay. As soon as that roach gets free, bro, I'm sticking you back in that hole, bro. You gotta die. You are forced to die today. This on camera. Grab this real quick. Drop you in. Oh, he is on the tarantula. I repeat, he is literally on the tarantula. Oh, oh, I think the tarantula grabbed it, but I cannot see. Damn it, bro. Dude. The tarantula has to have it, right? Come on, let me get that perfect view. Hold up, I got an idea. <laughs> Yo, dude, editing Chris here with my kale drink. But 
My idea was not good. I said, whoa, wait, wait a second, I have an idea. My idea was worse, okay? So I just cut that whole thing out. Pretty much you're not able to see the trench lead on camera, but he ate, I promise, okay? Let's get back to the video. So this isn't a freaking pet, but my superworms are eating. And since it's a feeding video, I thought I would show it because everything else that eats won't eat on camera and these guys just stopped eating. Oh my gosh. Yo, so this will either be a fail or the most epic thing ever. Got a little roach right here. Got a little centipede right here and let's drop it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Did you see that guys? Did you freaking see that? No, don't take it to your hole, please. No, 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 not, no, no. Oh yes, 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 come on. Don't take it to your hole, eat it right now. Eat it on camera, please, please. Stop moving so jerkily, jerkly, jerkishy. I don't even know what that word is. No, don't go to your burrow, please, no. Damn it, but look at that, guys. It finally was able to hunt on camera. Hopefully I freaking got it. Knowing my luck, I probably got just barely any of it. And yeah, look at those freaking colors. It's gonna munch on that roach nice and nice, nice, nicely. I don't even know what the hell to say because I'm so hyped. But yeah, yeah, look at that guys. So freaking cool. I think it's holding the roach with few of its legs while the upper part of its legs are um, digging so it could eat it somewhere more secure. And what the hell is it doing? It's freaking tickling the roach, bro. What the hell? This is so freaking cool, guys. So, so freaking cool. All right, so yeah. I don't want this video to be too long, so I'm gonna have that thing finish up its meal and we'll move on to the next animal. All right, guys, this is a warning for the next part of this video. I'm gonna be feeding off a live fuzzy mouse. And yeah, it could be kind of graphic. Um, I'm not like a psychopath. I don't like seeing little animals die. Okay, just wanna put a disclaimer. I'll put a timestamp just so you could skip away from like the animal being alive and just like to the boa eating it. It's a little baby boa. It's only been fed on live animals. Um, that's what the reptile shop has told me. And I want to get its few couple of meals in. Um, I don't want to try switching it off to um, frozen until it gets a few meals into its body. So yeah, guys, beware, caution, warning, all that good stuff. Do not watch this next part of the video if you're scared of seeing little animals die or just nature take its course. I honestly don't have a problem with it. Um, I know a lot of people, especially like YouTubers that are big in this community, hate seeing, hate, don't even be, don't even really be feeding live animals like that. But yeah, I think it's nature. There should be nothing wrong with it. So let's get into it. You dig? This right here is what I'm going to be using to feed my boa, little red tail boa. And you're probably wondering a bag, like what the hell is this we're talking about? So. The big snakes like this, um, there's mixed opinions on how you should feed them or whatever, but I don't want to get bit. Believe it or not, I've never been bit by a snake, and I don't want the first time to be me getting bit by a half-grown or full-grown freaking red tail boa. So yeah, I mean, a bite from it right now would not do anything pretty much at all. Probably won't even break skin, but once it gets bigger, if it chooses to bite me because it thinks that my hand's food, so I just start reaching into its cage to pick it up, it's gonna hurt a lot, okay? There's gonna be a lot of blood. So I put this bag, I put, this is what I'm gonna be feeding it, a little fuzzy. It is kind of cute and sad, but nature's nature, my dude, it's ruthless. So yeah, put it in this bag, put the snake in this bag. Um, I missed it down a little just cause it needs humidity and I want it to be like hella arid in there. And then yeah, let's, let's see it eat. Here's the red tail boa, beautiful freaking colors as you can see nice bows on it and let's put it into the bag all right so i just put the mouse in as you can see 
and the boa does not seem to oh i think he's just noticed what the hell is happening and that there's a little baby fuzzy right near it let's see what happens guys oh dude that loki scared me oh my gosh i look he had a heart attack guys oh that's so sad wow okay damn that's 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 that <laughs> jesus christ so yeah guys um i don't even know if i should put the tam time stamp like right here or if this is still a little bit too graphic who the hell knows you can see the leg is still twitching a little so damn all right wow i forgot to spray down the bag okay so a little quick life hack i'm gonna spray actually the outside of the bag just so i'm not like spraying the snake to scare it all right so sprayed the bag as you can see water's bleeding through and since it is a bow constrictor as you probably could guess it is constricting the prey um the prey i'm pretty sure is like dead now pretty sure it hasn't been able to breathe for a while so once the boa notices that it can't breathe anymore, which I think it is now, it is going to choose which side it should try to start to eat it from. And, oh, I just heard the mice, the mice squeak a little more. But yeah, so it's going to start to choose um, the back end, it looks like. Even though usually it should choose to eat the top end, the head, head first. But for some reason this boa is choosing the back end. Not very smart. So yeah. As you can see what the hell is happening. Let's open this a little bit more. Get much more in there. And yeah. Beautiful colors on that red tail boa though. I can't be any more pleased with this freaking snake. I'm loving it. And tomorrow's video, which I'm gonna film today, I got a new pet, um scorpion. So yeah. Stay tuned for that. But let's get back to the boa. All right, all right. So yeah, just constricting it. Every single breath that that little mouse takes, every time it exhales, the boa squeezes tighter until like it can't suck in any more air, if that makes sense. So that's the tactic it uses to kill its prey. And yeah, as you can see, it's repositioning um the little mouse and yeah the boa should have been eating it head first but for some reason since it is captive bred and like nature is m much more lenient or life is much more lenient for boas since they don't have to deal with outside pressures or whatever um you're gonna see a bunch more that are eating all weird or usual the you the, the snakes that would usually die out in the wild can have a chance to live in captivity because it's much more lenient so yeah in the wild you would usually see it eat head first but this guy's cho choosing to do feet first and yeah it's kind of interesting so i'm gonna let it finish up its prey and yeah come back once it's halfway engulged all right so as you can see the boa is swallowing the rodent you can see that don't know where exactly. Oh, wait, I think that's the top arms. So the head is still like down towards more, more down there. So yeah, you can see just the determination on that snake. Kind of amazing how it could just stretch that much. It's really dope. Look at that. So yeah, it swallowed it in a very awkward position, but oh my gosh, did that thing really just squeal? Just look at that, guys.
Damn. Yeah, he did not swallow it. Well, there's a bunch of um, arms, limbs. There's a bunch of limbs all stacked up against each other and hanging out. That's why the snake should have swallowed it head first. But he's still making good. He's still making progress. He's pretty much swallowed the whole thing now. And damn. Freaking mouth full. What's your hungry eh? Alright, so yeah, guys. I'm gonna pretty much end the video off here. He's swallowed the whole freaking thing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. Damn. He swallowed, swallowed it. That's so cool. So very dope. So very dope, guys. Look at that fool with his fat neck. Over here being fat neck gang. Daddy long neck looking at boy. Daddy wide neck looking at boy. So yeah, he swallowed that thing up. And let's get on to the end of the video. You dig? All right, guys. So that's the end of today's video. You know what I'm saying? Hope you enjoyed it. Mixed emotions. I've never seen a little baby animal get eaten like that. And it was kind of like damn but you know it's nature so i hope it didn't freak anyone out too bad i hope i don't get hate for this video or anything like that but yeah guys i'll see you on the next one late late